guys, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, put your like and write down comment below. It helps to promote my video and make me happy. I'm not native speaker, so sometimes I can make mistakes. I will do my best to improve my skill. Hope you will enjoy my job. Let's start. I want you to give me the keys to the basement. I will keep an eye on the thing downstairs from now on. Pardon? Madam, what do you mean? I'm just taking the work of your hands. Is it a problem? Pardon me, but has Master Carter agreed to it? How much do you want for the key? Madam, if you get hurt again, I will be in huge trouble. It will be our secret. I will pay you enough to be able to support yourself, even if you get fired. Why is she so sad on this? I'm sorry, but I can't give you the key. But I can let you go with me. Hmm? He was a child before, but he's grown since last time. You mean you didn't know? No, madam. I was so startled at the time with you getting hurt. That's right. Sophie put him down with a long stick, didn't she? Yes, madam. Aside from the old coach driver, we have no male servants. So Miss Sophia takes care of any work that takes physical strength. Does it usually bite people? That thing? Yes, I'm fairly new here, so I'd never witnessed it myself. But I heard that someone almost died here after being bitten in the neck by this thing. So Miss Sophia has told us to stay away from it. It appears to feed on human beings. Will you bring something to eat? Pardon, madam. But that's... I won't do anything while you're gone. No need to worry. Hey, look over here. It's bread. Here is some food for you. Madam... Please don't get too close. There is no response. I'm completely within reach. But he is not getting aggressive at all. Maybe he is not hungry? Madam, why are you so interested in that thing? I'm just acting out. Because I don't want to be an obedient wife. If you don't mind me asking, does Master Carter get violent with you very often? I forgot, I never even asked you your name. Oh, my name is Anne Brenna. Please call me Anne. How old are you? Nineteen, madam. I got married at that age. You know, it's only after marriage that a man shows his real character. So be careful and don't get stuck with men who are pity or like alcohol and women and watch him carefully to see what sets him off. So she is not much older than me. She doesn't want to be an obedient wife. Madam, these are the keys that open the doors to the basement. I always keep them in the cabinet drawer by my bed. When I'm busy with work or asleep, I probably wouldn't notice if someone were to take them. My room is the last room in the west wing on the fourth floor. If these keys were to disappear, I wouldn't dare tell a soul since I would get in huge trouble. I see. Oh, 
Lady Netton, Countess Williams has sent an invitation to her party. I see. You may leave it whenever you'd like. Also, Duchess Titi has sent a response to your letter. Dear Lady Nathan, how awful that you were beaten by a dog while out on a walk. I wish you a swift recovery. I also wish to apologize for sending you an invitation on a day of mourning. Hi. My name is Giselle Nathan. What's your name? I know you can speak, so say something, will you? Fine, I guess you don't do. Anyway, I'm going to be coming to see you from now on. You drink blood, right? I'm going to give you my blood, but not every day, or I might die. I'm thinking around once a week for now. How does it sound? But I can't give you too much, and you can't bite me so hard that it hurts, like you did last time. Oh, look at this scar. This is what you did to me. Oh, it's approaching. It's responding to the wound. Maybe it's hungry again? After seeing the blood around the wound? It will hurt if it bites me again. Should I pull away before it's too late? I'm sorry. I will give him a chance. Huh? Hmm? What? What are you doing? Huh? Ouch. It's lovely to meet you, Lord Nathan, Lady Nathan. Thank you for coming. I know your hearts are still heavy. What was the tragic accident? It's all right, Countess Williams. Thank you for your invitation. My wife does not have friends or family in this area, so I appreciate you for giving her the chance to get acquainted with your other guests. My, what handsome, caring husband you are. I quite envy you, Lady Nathan. Madame Duchess Tutti has arrived. Oh. Welcome, Duchess Tutti. Oh, it has been too long. It certainly has, Countess Williams. I appreciate all the effort you put into hosting these dual parties. Oh, Duchess, you have your way with jokes as usual. <laughs> Is Lady Norton here today? I hear that she hurt her leg. Oh, Lady Norton is right over there. Wow, she's so tall and so beautiful. Lady Nathan, could we have a word with you? Yes, certainly. Since you are new to this neighborhood, we just wanted to offer you some words of caution. You should keep your distance from Duchess Titi as much as possible. Why is that? Five years ago, Duke Titi passed away from a mysterious accident, and everyone suspects that it was a murder committed by the Duchess. She never showed any sign of mourning about the Duke's passing either. She's also notorious for her lack of etiquette in social circles. Indeed, it's rather unpleasant to be in her company. What are you talking about? <coughs> Hello, Lady Nathan. I hope your leg is much better. 
thank you for your concern, Duchess Titi. Please stop by our residence next time when you are free. I'd love to have a chat with you over tea. Certainly, I will pay you a visit at a time that is convenient for you. Well, then, ladies, I hope you have a lovely evening. I must get going. The witch already seems to have designated her as her next target. Poor thing. She has no husband or a child to whom she can pass on the noble title. You won't get anything out of a relationship with someone like her. You would do well to come up with an excuse to avoid her. Hey, try some of these. They are cookies. You eat them. They are really good, very sweet. Have some and say something. You eat them like this, see? Mmm, that's delicious. Huh? Oh, I guess he likes them. Aren't you afraid of me? What a gentle voice. Not at all. I know deep down that you are a good child. Hello, Anne. Uh, madam? What, what brings you here? I wanted to ask you for another favor. Can you give me some men's clothes if you have any? Madam, I don't want to be involved in this any further. But you are already my partner in crime, aren't you? Please. Lady Natin, what are you doing here? This is Dr. Zimple Champion. Please come upstairs with us. Is he here for my leg? But why is it a different doctor from last time? Did your parents have any illnesses? especially on your mother's side. No. Do you consider yourself to be mentally healthy? And do you sleep well at night? Uh, yes. Do you menstruate? And is it regular? Hmm? It's very regular. Once a month on the dot. Why on earth is he asking me these questions? How often do you have intercourse with your husband? I'm not sure. We do it whenever he feels like it, so it's not regular. If there is anything wrong physically, it's him, not me. He suffers from delayed ejaculation and used to frequent the red light district. I wouldn't be surprised if he has a sexually transmitted illnesses or two. What I know for sure is that there is no problem with me. You understand?